Hello, welcome to Creata classes and also welcome to the last lecture under the median series. Yes, this is a median series and this is the last lecture. In this lecture, we will cover the complete summary of the median series. Do not forget to download the complete formula list in the download section or in the below description. Hope you have enjoyed the complete median series. Do not forget to give the feedback in the below comment section. We always wait for your feedback. It motivates us to make such more series. So without taking any further time, let's jump to the video. Here it is. Median is a line segment that joins the vertex with the midpoint of the opposite side. This is the midpoint. So the median divides the opposite sides into two equal portion. We can say one is to one ratio. Triangle is having three vertex and the three sides so it can have total three medians. And these three medians are starting from the vertex and they are meeting the midpoint of the opposite side. For this triangle AD, BE and CF are the three medians. The three medians of a triangle intersect at a common point. Let's say the intersection point of the three median as G. The point G is known as the centroid of the triangle. The point of intersection of three median is known as centroid of the triangle. Basically the centroid is the center of gravity of the triangle. Further, this centroid divides the median into the ratio of 2 is to 1. The point G divide the median into the ratio of 2 is to 1. That is AG is to GD for this triangle will be 2 is to 1. For example, if we take AD as 9 cm, then AG will be 6 cm and GD will be 3 cm. The ratio will be 6 is to 3 that is 2 is to 1. Got it? Similarly, the ratio of BG is to GF will be 2 is to 1 and the ratio of CG is to GE will be 2 is to 1. A common mistake, the ratio 2 is to 1 is generally interchanged as 1 is to 2. This is the common mistake. The remembering technique is that the number 2 or the numeric 2 will lies with the vertex. Here 2 is with the vertex A and here 2 is with the vertex B and here 2 is with the vertex C. This is the remembering technique to avoid any confusion. Moving further, we will start with the fundamental. That is, the ratio of area of triangles with same altitudes will be equal to the ratio of their bases. For example, in this figure, if we say the ratio of BD is to DC is A is to B, BD is A and DC is B, then the ratio of area of triangle ABD is to the ratio of area of triangle ADC will also be equal to A is to B. The ratio of area of both of these triangles will be equal to ratio of their bases if their altitude or the height are same. For both of these triangles, the altitude or the height is same. So we can say that ratio of area of both of these triangles is equal to their bases. This is a concept. If we apply this concept to the medians, the median start with the vertex and joins the midpoint of the opposite side. Means the median divide the opposite side into the ratio of 1 is to 1. So we can say ratio of area of both of these triangles will be equal to 1 is to 1. Why? Because ratio of their bases is 1 is to 1. In other words, we can say median divide the area of triangle into two equal parts. Similarly, these medians will also divide the area of triangle into two equal parts. Why? Because they are meeting with the midpoint of the opposite side and they are dividing the opposite side into the ratio of 1 is to 1. If you observe, the three medians have divided the area of triangle into six equal part. Area of all these small triangles will be equal to 1 by 6 of the area of complete triangle. These are six triangles, so each will be having 1 by 6 of the area of triangle ABC, that is the complete triangle. In other words, we can say the medians divide the area of triangle into six equal parts. Got it? Pausing for a while, we have various modules on complex and dynamic mathematical concepts which are difficult to teach using the traditional teaching methods. We cover the difficult mathematical concept using the visual learning tools. Check out the link in the description for the various mathematical modules created using the animation and the visual tool, that is through the visual learning tools. 
we believe in adding creativity to the learning now let's back to the lecture moving further the next concept is that area of triangle is equal to 4 by 3 times area of triangle formed by the median if we take a triangle abc with median as a b and c a b and c are the three medians for this triangle if we take out these three medians from this triangle can we form a triangle from these three medians this triangle with median a b and c is known as the triangle formed by the medians and area of this complete triangle abc is equal to 4 by 3 times the area of the triangle formed by the median okay this is an important concept will be used in solving questions related to area of the triangle and area of the median so moving further now we will see the relation between the sides of the triangle and the medians of the triangle the first relation is that ab plus ac is greater than twice of ad here ad is a median and ab and ac are the two sides of the triangle as per this relation if we add two sides say ab and ac then the addition of these two sides is always greater than twice the median which is between those two sides okay got the concept similarly if we talk about the median ce then we can say ac plus bc is greater than twice of ce okay we have taken the median between these two sides similarly we can say ab plus bc is greater than twice of bf we have applied the same fundamental in the three medians this is important relation that is addition of two sides is greater than twice of the median which is between those two sides please note it down further based on this relation we can derive a relation that is ab plus bc plus ac is greater than ad plus bf plus ce that is the sum of three sides of the triangle is greater than sum of medians of the triangle here ab bc and ac are the three sides and ad bf and ce are the three medians of this triangle as per this fundamental the sum of the three sides is always greater than the sum of three medians of this triangle okay remember this moving further to our next relations we will study two relation together these two relations are four times the sum of medians of the triangle is greater than three times the sum of the sides of the triangle the next relation is three times the sum of sides of the triangle is greater than two times the sum of medians of the triangle these are two important relation the common mistake that the student do is that they interchange four with three and two with three so the remembering technique is that the numeric 3 will always come with the sides of the triangle just remember that the numeric 3 will come with the sides of the triangle triangle the three angles or the three sides so the number 3 will come with the sides of the triangle and number 4 and number 2 will come with the medians for the first relation 4 is greater than 3 so you can remember the 4 times the sum of medians is greater than the 3 times the sum of the sides of the triangle further in the next relation the numeric 3 is greater than 2 so you can remember 3 times the sum of the sides of the triangle is greater than 2 times the sum of median of the triangle got it these are the four relations which is having greater than or less than symbol now we will see the relation between the medians and the sides of the triangle which is having equal signs and these relations will be used in solving the problems related to the sides and the medians and the first relation is known as the Apollonius theorem this is very very important theorem will be used in a wide applications as per this theorem a square plus b square is equal to twice of c by 2 whole square plus ad square here a b and c are the three sides of the triangle a square plus b square that is the sum of square of two sides of the triangle here we have taken the side a and side b is equal to twice of c by 2 whole square c is the third side plus ad square ad is the median between the side a and b here we have taken the median which is between the side a and b this is the apollonius theorem based on this apollonius theorem we can derive the formula that is 4 times the sum of square of medians is equal to 3 times the sum of square of the sides of the triangle 
we are not going into the proof of this theorem or the formula we are just doing the summary so we are just listing down the formulas and the fundamentals okay got it so these all are the relations between the sides of the triangle and the medians of the triangle moving further now we will take the special case related to the medians the first case that we will take is the medians in a right angle triangle let's take a right angle triangle abc which is having a right angle at angle b here ac is the hypotenuse for this triangle let's take a median bd bd is a median so d will be the midpoint of the side ac or the hypotenuse ac as per the property median to the hypotenuse that is the median bd is equal to half of the hypotenuse as per this property bd is equal to half of ac if we take any medians in a right angle triangle which is connecting with the hypotenuse that median is equal to half of hypotenuse so we can say bd is equal to half of ac which is further equal to cd which is equal to ad so we can also say ad is equal to bd is equal to cd here a b and c are the three points which are equidistant from the point d so if we take d as a center can we draw a circle with three points as a b and c the point a b and c are equidistant from the point d so we can form a circle with center as d for this circle ad bd and cd will be the radius this circle is a circumcircle that is the circle touching the three vertex of the triangle just a small fundamental okay this is the first property now let's move to the second property of a medians in a right angle triangle let's take a right angle triangle abc with two medians as cn and am for this property the formula is 5 by 4 ac square is equal to am square plus cn square in other words we can also say 5 by 4 hypotenuse square that is ac square is equal to sum of square of the two medians that is am square plus cn square so this is also important relation in a right angle triangle with the medians okay these are the two properties okay these are the two fundamentals or the properties of a medians in a right angle triangle please note that these two formulas or the fundamental will be applicable only and only for a right angle triangle we cannot apply this formula in a equilateral triangle or any other type of triangle moving next the next is also a special case that is when two medians are perpendicular to each other for that let's take a triangle abc with two medians as cf and be and these two medians that is cf and be are perpendicular to each other okay this is a case the two medians are perpendicular to each other here cf and be both are perpendicular to each other means this angle is 90 degree for this case the applicable formula is ab square plus ac square is 5 times bc square here ab ac and bc are the three sides of the triangle for this fundamental only the three sides are coming in the formula note that median is not in the formula okay you can say this is also a remembering technique only the three sides are coming in the formula that is ab square plus ac square is equal to 5 times bc square this is applicable only and only when the two medians in a triangle are perpendicular to each other okay got it so that's it for the median series hope you enjoyed the complete series we will wait for your feedback thank you very much signing off bye for now have a great day